Hi everybody I wish you a warm welcome to Usitility. Today is special we are on the way to see how to run Call of Duty Mobile on PC, as you can see you were able to watch it on screen. It will be possible to efficiently download and set up Call of Duty Mobile and enjoy playing your game on a Windows PC with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's go my friends. Before anything else my friends, to start we need to launch our favorite internet browser. We have here the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. There is no need to type it, simply because there's a link in the description of this video and as well in the first pinned comment. We arrived at this point on the internet site of Usitility, at which we get an in-depth description on the best way to download and install Call of Duty Mobile on personal computer. We browse lower a little bit and just click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we arrive here on the site of LD Player. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will run to play Call of Duty Mobile on our PC. It is now obvious that we access some advantages of preferring this emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instant synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and the list goes on. Then, we are ready to start downloading the Call of Duty Mobile by simply clicking on this button download Call of Duty Mobile on PC that you can visualize here in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's a file we have to execute. What we have to do now is to run the executable file, Ok, then we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the system. We clicked yes. I reduce the internet browser to start to see the installation software better. The installation software is uncomplicated. It is made up of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We simply just simply click on it. And now we realize that we end up with here the path where the emulator is going to be set up. If we plan to change this folder we have to click on the Browse button, and we pick another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we choose. I prefer to keep it by default. I click on Back, and therefore I just click Install. At this point, before you start installing that emulator, will also be possible that it will offer us one or more application software packages to add on our laptop. As I do not need any of those software programs, I simply just click each time on the Reject option. Great. The setup begins and it's going to carry on together with the download of those megabytes which are shown on that screen. When you download it, it could possibly be a bit more or less megabytes. The download rate may go faster or at a lower speed, depending on your web access and depending on the speed capacity of the emulator web servers. Right away they are progressing really fast. The download is completed, so instantly it continues with the setup step. The setup will take a little bit more or less time based on the power of your hard drive. The more powerful it is, the faster the software installation time and or vice versa. If we add together the download and setup stage it might take a very long time, so be patient. It has now ended for me. At this point, the emulator happens to be started immediately. As you will notice, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will fill up so when it attains the end, the emulator is started for the first time. Believe it or not the emulator is already started, here for the first time. And therefore LD Store is by default started, that is a sort of Google Play. This isn't the smartest way to set up the video game, and therefore I don't recommend it, for the reason that quite often the LD Store sets up an out-of-date version of the Android game. I will assist you how you can set up the video game using the Google Play and therefore I recommend you to do it this way. The very first thing we need to make is to head to the computer's desktop by hitting this software icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we continue on, as you understand, it created two software icons here on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player icon will be only one we're considering. Every time we want to launch Call of Duty Mobile on the desktop or laptop, we double mouse click on this specific icon and as a result use the emulator. The LD Multiplayer app icon isn't related to multiplayer or even anything like this, in fact, it's an software icon that we might most likely never use. We should make the following step, which is actually a requirement, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse there to, System Apps, we click on, and we'll mouse click on Play Store. As can be seen the Google Play is started. At this point we must log on. Right now the moment we're right here, we must definitely accomplish this next step that is compulsory. Therefore we simply click on, Sign In. At this point it shows, checking info. It might in some cases get blocked in, checking info, and this fails to move forward. In that case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it'll usually be fixed. At this point we can provide our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. For example you may use the same email address you use at the moment in your YouTube account. Then I will enter my information and I'll come back when I have accomplished it. That's all, information typed. And here is Google welcoming us and presenting us the twos. We are going to consent to them all by simply hitting, I agree. After that, it make us possible to back up to the Google Cloud. You might let it checked and this will create a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. 
From now Google Play is started as preferred choice and immediately. Whenever the Google Play isn't started automatically and you have no clue how to start it yourself, I demonstrate to you how to do so. The very first thing is to go to the emulator desktop by pressing this app icon designated in green. Right now we head to the system apps folder. And we click the Play Store icon. Fine, we are right inside of Google Play. What we shall do will be go here to search for apps and games. And consequently we're going to locate Call of Duty Mobile. Generally there we have got it, we are going to go through the first result. Right here we come with the Android game. Let's quickly simply click there on the install choice that I'm presenting now in green color. Therefore it will launch the software setup. At this time it is going to download and install the game, it can take a little while or it might possibly be very fast. That all is going to depend on the web connection. This has by then completed installing. Back to the emulator desktop by clicking this specific option that I'm presenting in green, that allows you to launch Call of Duty Mobile for the first time. I am now on the emulator desktop, and so we are on the way to simply click on that new Call of Duty Mobile app icon which has been created. That Android game is started for the first time. So there we have it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to discuss the volume level of this emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we are not going to rely on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of this emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the greatest, we should switch on the big screen, for which we have two options. That is actually the first one, we simply click on this particular icon which I am showing in green color. Then the monitor is maximized, offering one border on top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In the case that we like to have fun with the app using all the screen, we hit this particular icon. So we would likely presently be experiencing the Android game in full screen setting. To exit the 100% screen functionality, click the F11 key. So we would certainly now end up being in regular computer screen setting. At this moment I am on the way to demonstrate to you the keys mapping that is actually rather interesting. That strategy we will certainly be capable to use the game app a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to mouse click this keyboard icon. It's now time to get the appropriate controls. I'm going to let the default settings, though if you wish to modify this, you can also do it with no problem. I just take this time to say that in some cases, when opening the video game a dark screen appears, if it's like that and you notice the black screen and the emulator fails to commence, I propose a achievable technique. We should hop on over to the cogwheel. Inside the emulator preferences, in the advanced choice we have got a multitude of resolutions. That is the resolution we have previously opted for as favorite choice and we must choose any of these other image resolutions, for instance that one listed below. We pick it and afterwards click on save. It will certainly ask us to reboot the emulator and right after rebooted, most likely the emulator will start up and this black screen will go away. Clearly, the emulator is fully in our own language. In some cases it occurs that the emulator is started in the wrong language, such as, in Japanese. So to place it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. So there inside of various other controls, we simply click on the language drop down. We will choose the language we wish, Italian, Chinese, and so forth. When the language is chosen, we could save, the emulator will reboot, along with the game application, next time we launch it, would of course be in the opted for language. Right now, you will find another information that we need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Gmail reporting that a brand new machine has been linked to our Google account. It is going to question us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Yes, we shouldn't be troubled, as the emulator is emulating an Android device. And then to determine which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we go here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, choice. And there we determine that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for our video tutorial. I sincerely hope you liked it, especially that you thought it was handy. If that's the case, offer it a good thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer all your feedback, concerns or ideas, leave them in the comment box down below. You can also leave a comment on my Twitch channel, I do live streams on occasion, you get it listed below in the video description and in the initial pinned comment. Simply click on any of those training videos that happens to be appearing on the list of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the future training videos. Bye.